Hi and welcome to this video which is going to look at how we estimate the limit of this function here which I've highlighted, the limit as h approaches 0 of a to the power h minus 1 all over h. Now the unit 3 curriculum actually says we've got to do this, we've got to use technology to actually see what the limit will be for various values of a. So here's a obviously and what I've done is I've set up a spreadsheet and you can see here that the values of a in this one is 2, here it's 3, 2.5, 2.8, 2.7 and then 2.71828 and we'll get to the reasoning behind why we've chosen particularly that value in a, in a little while it'll become a bit more apparent. But we've chosen values of a somewhere between 2 and 3 okay and then we've we've sort of oscillated um, halfway then a bit higher then a bit lower then bang on this particular value the other thing that we've varied is the value of h and what we're doing is we're actually making h approach 0 so we start at 1 and then we progressively make that smaller and smaller and smaller until it's as I said, almost zero itself. So we're looking at the limit as h approaches zero and we're going to say, okay, what's going to go on? What's going to be the effect of that on this particular function? So I've set these up and I've also set a formula up. So I've put this particular formula in as Excel code and here it is up here. And you can see the formula, let's go down to this one, 2 to the power of h minus 1 all divided by h. So over here, 2 raised to the power of the contents of A4, there's A4, so 1 in this case, which is our H value. We're going to take 1 away from that, and then we're going to divide it by that 1 again, remembering that 1 is the value of H that we're doing. So I've, I've um, got that to calculate it already. It's evaluated it as 1, and then using the power of spreadsheets, I'm just going to drag that down so the formula replicates down. And it's going to generate a whole bunch of numbers, which is basically substituting 0.5 into um, that formula in place of the H. So let's have a quick look at this one. So we're looking here as 2 being raised to the power of whatever's in A5. So that's a half. We're going to take 1 away from that. Then we're going to divide by half. And so that replicates that formula for a different value of H. Okay, and on it goes. So down here, H will be 0.1. There's our point one, and it goes in. So the purpose, or you might be able to notice that as we go down, we've gone from a value of 1 to a value of 0.82 to a value of 0.71, and then it started, the change in these numbers has become less and less, to the point where these last three numbers are virtually identical. So as H approaches 0, we're getting a number, a limit if you like, of 0 0.693, or thereabouts. Okay, so the answer to this one of what is the limit as h approaches 0 of 2 to the power h minus 1 on h is going to be about 0 0.693. Okay, so we're going to replicate the same idea with this one now. We're going to take a different value of a, in this instance 3, and then we're going to change the values of h as we go. Now, I won't go through and give you all the detail, but I'll copy that formula down, and as you can see, we start initially with 2, and as we proceed down, it seems to um, settle on a value roughly around 1.0986, okay? One, so our limit of 3 to the power h minus 1 all over h, as that approaches 0, is about 1.098. If we were to substitute the value of 2.5 for a and go through the same process, you can see my value settles around 0 0.916. And for 2.8, you can see that the value settles around 1.096, okay? And we'll go on for these other two, where that value settles close to 0.99. You can see the last three values are around 0.99, in fact, the last four. And this one, our values settle out at 1.0. So what we can say here is the limit of a to the power h minus 1 on h will equal 1, okay, so our limit equals 1, for this value of 2.71828. And you've probably seen that value before when we've looked at E, that uh, Euler's number um, that we've 
had a brief look at in unit two and are going to have another look at in greater detail in this unit. Anyway, I hope that makes some sense. Um, talk to me if you need any help. Thanks for listening.